Retro Rob plays everything. Hey Rob here, welcome to Sorry Atari, where great games go to be played poorly. This week we're going to take a look at 1982's Squeeze Box. <laughs> I almost made it through that. Uh, by U.S. Games, or Quaker Oats. So pull out your oatmeal, folks, and get ready to have a spoonful of goodness. Said that with a straight face. All right, let's take a look at the synopsis. Squeezebox is the ultimate escape game. Our pistol packing jailbird has got to shoot like crazy to knock out an escape route through the walls before they close in on him. What did he do to get into this prison anyway? Man. The longer it takes, the faster they come. So aim carefully, but don't rush out too fast because the next room is worse and you're getting points for each block you shoot out. They already gave you kind of a hint. Test your endurance way too long and you might touch the wall. Three touches and it's all over. Except for the hottest finish you have ever encountered in a video game. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just get into gameplay. By the way, there are several variations of this. Uh, there's fast bar speed, slow bar speed. I'm on slow. Uh, there's automatic and manual fire. And I'm on automatic fire. I don't even recommend you try it with manual fire. And you'll see why uh, in a second. Because you, you have to hold down the button a bit anyway. Alright, let's uh, switch over to play mode. Look at that. Awesome, right? That was. If I could have like kept my head like this, I could have done one of those creepy pictures that they put in those memes. True story. My first career was as a uh, photographic trainer. I used to teach photography. Exciting. Ah. Pressing button to start. Notice that it moves a little bit before I'm allowed to fire. So it starts closing in on you. Okay, so here's something important to note. When I hold still and hold the joystick up and down while holding the fire button, you see what happens? I can aim the gun up and down. And that is an important tactic to learn in this game. By the way, if I do manage to clean out all the bricks for a moment even, I will get an extra guy. Is that going to happen here? I doubt it. This week's controller, by the way, is the Sears Arcade 2 controller. Alright, I gotta get out of here. I'm trapped. See ya! There it is right there. It's also a paddle. Very useful. Give it a second. Let the bricks come in. There they go. The bricks are closing in on me. Kinda reminds me of life. There we go. Come on. Urgh. So, really, um, I didn't want to uh, switch off to the next level. Uh, it would have been better for me had I stayed on the first level and kept shooting bricks. But instead, I hosed things up. And now I'm suffering for it. Uh, get. No. Oh, come on. I touched it already. See, talking and playing. This is why I'm not like a regular streamer. I cannot talk and play well at the same time. That said, if you like watching somebody really suck at a game, you are on the right station. Mm, true story. Hey Rob here, and this is a tactic called B-rolling. Yes. Basically what I'm doing is taking a boring section of gameplay and inserting a comment over it, or in it, to break up the tedium. Alright, really, there is a good reason for me doing this. And it's to talk about joysticks and the joystick you choose. Now, during this video, my performance is greatly hindered by my choice of this, the Sears Video Arcade 2 joystick. It's the one I used throughout my childhood because this was the first Atari 2600 I ever got. And I was quite good with this controller. However, 30 years later, no, 
not such a great controller. I definitely should have used something like the slick stick here, or maybe the original Atari 2600 joystick. Either one would have been a better choice, or maybe a Wicko. So the lesson to be learned here is this. The joystick you played with as a kid is a lot like your high school girlfriend. You remember it way hotter and way sexier than it ever really was in real life. One of the real problems with this game is there's not a whole lot to talk about because it's pretty basic. We can talk about the colors of the bars, but I'm not gonna. I do like the graphics a lot. I mean, look at this, uh, look at the bank robber guy. He looks good. I mean, actually, you could tell what he is. What is up with his shoes, though? Oh, 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 I remember why I don't use this controller. It is already, yeah, this is already starting to hurt. Yeah, I forgot how hard this was on your hands. This controller, I, I love the look of it but it is super, and I mean super hard on your hands. Oh man. They used to make these things in the 80s um, that were supposed to work out your hands, and it actually is like using one of those. They're pretty good controllers as far as accuracy goes. Uh, however, there is a um, there is a piece of wire, not, not wire, but like a, uh, a a bracket of sorts uh, that goes between these two fire buttons and it very often breaks here. Let's just go out. Oh, really? Really? And there it is! <laughs> the dancing cat that indicates I have died. I did about a third of the score I generally do on this, uh, but I think you get the idea. Uh, why spend an hour on it uh, when you can spend a few minutes and get the whole effect of the game and me hurting my hands. I'm just not going to abuse myself anymore with that. Uh, so that's squeeze box. You can generally get it for under five bucks and uh, well worth that money. I, if you can even see it, you know, if you even see it at like five bucks, it's, it's pretty fun. It would be a lot better if you happen to have a friend. It's one of those good uh, games for competition or friendly competition. Uh, so definitely uh, bring a friend along when you play this. It'll be a lot more fun for you. Thank you very much for watching Sorry Atari. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in a couple days. Bye. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos